So, good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about the Wilson's Theorem. Wilson's Theorem states that if P is any natural number greater than 1, then P is said to be a prime number if and only if the product of all the positive integers less than P is 1 less than a multiple number P. So, mathematically, Yung shortcut lang po na gustong sabihin itong Wilson's Theorem is that let's assume or assuming we have P is greater than 1, then the number P is a prime number if and only if P minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod P or P minus 1 factorial is congruent to P minus 1 mod P. So this definition is according to vendato.com. So to further understand what Wilson's theorem is, let's have this example. So for example, we have what is the remainder of 43 factorial mod 47. Now using the Wilson's theorem, let's first identify what P is. So dito po sa modulong ito, ang P po natin is si 47. So, sabi po dito, di ba, P minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod P. So, ibig sabihin po, given that 47 is P, we can rewrite this as 47 minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 47. So, 47 minus 1, that is 46 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 40. Seven. Now, si 46 po, pwede natin siyang ma i as 46 times 45 times 44 times 43 factorial. Ngayon po, bakit tayo um, nag-stop kay 43? Kasi siya po yung hinahanap natin dito. So, that will give us again negative 1 mod 47. Now, 46 minus 47, that is negative 1. 45 minus 47, that is negative 2. 44 minus 47, that is negative 3. And 43 factorial is congruent to 1 mod 47. Now po, negative 1 times negative 2, that is 2. 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. Times 43 factorial is congruent to 1 mod 47. Now, ang goal po natin dito is maalis si negative 6 since ang goal po natin is to find what is the value of 43 mod 47. So as you can see, dito po, kung maalala nyo, ang modulo is wrapping up. And we wrap up using either subtraction or addition. So in this case, uh, mas strategic po na gamitin ang subtraction. Bakit po? Because negative 1 minus 47, that is negative 48. And negative 6 po and negative 47 are divisible po both by negative 6. So pwede natin siyang makancel at ang matitira lang po is si 43 factorial. So mod 47, negative 6 times 43 factorial, divide both sides by negative 6, negative 6, makakancel po to. Our answer now is... Negative 48 divided by negative 6, that is 8. Mod 47. For our second example, gamitin naman po natin itong mathematical expression ng Wilson's theorem. So we have here 20 factorial mod 23. We have 23 here as the P. So we have 23 minus 1 factorial is congruent to 23 minus 1 mod 23. So that will give us 23 minus 1, that is 22 factorial, is congruent to 22 mod 23. Now, ang kailangan po natin gawin dito is to expand. So we have here 22 times 21 times 20 factorial. Bakit po nag-stop kay 20? Kasi siya po yung hinahanap natin dito. So we have here congruent to 22 mod 23. So, 22 minus 23, that is negative 1. 21 minus 23, that is negative 2. 20 factorial is congruent to 22 mod 23. Now, negative 1 times negative 2, that is 2. 
times 20 factorial is congruent to 22 mod 23. Divide both sides by 2, by 2. 20 factorial is congruent to 11 mod 23. So that will be our answer for this problem. So ibig sabihin, ang remainder po ng 20 factorial mod 23 is 11. Now for our third example, what is the remainder of 97 factorial mod 101? So 101 is our P. So we have here 101 minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. So we have here 100 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. So kailangan ni expand po natin si 100. So we will have here 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. So 100 minus 101, that is negative 1. 99 minus 101, that is negative 2. 98 minus 101, that is negative 3. 97 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is 2. Times negative 3, that is negative 6. 97 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. Ngayon po, it's either mag add po tayo ng 101 kay negative 1 or mag-subtract po. But in this case, mas strategic po na gamitin ang minus. Why? Because negative 1 minus 101, that will give us negative 102 mod 101. So negative 102 mod 101 is just the same as negative 1 mod 101. Parehas lang po sila ng result na may yield. So ibig sabihin ito, copy-paste po natin dito. Then we will divide both sides now by negative 6. Why? Because negative 6 and negative 102 are both divisible by 6. So we have here 102 divided by negative 6, that will give us 17. So 97 factorial is congruent to 17 mod 101. So the remainder of 97 mod 101 is just 17. Or kung gusto niyo pong mas formal, pwede pong ito lahat yung isagot natin. Pero kung yung tinatanong po, what is the remainder? The remainder is 17. For example, number 4, what is the remainder of 26 factorial mod 31? So this is our P. So gamitin naman po natin ito. So we will have here 31 minus 1 factorial is congruent to 31 minus 1 mod 31. So 31 minus 1, that is 30 factorial, is congruent to 30 mod 31. So we will have here 30 times 29, times 28, times 27, times 26 factorial mod or 30 mod 31. So 30 minus 31, that is negative 1. 29 minus 31, that is negative 2. 28 minus 31, that is negative 3. 27 minus 31, that is negative 4. 26 factorial is congruent to 30 mod 31. So negative 1, times negative 2, that is 2, times negative 3, that is negative 6, times negative 4, that is 24. So we have here 24, 26 factorial, is congruent to 30, mod 31. Now, 24 and 30 are both divisible by 6. So pwede po natin siya pansamantalang i-divide by 6. So that will give us, 4 times 26 factorial is congruent to 5 mod 31. Let's adjust this first. Now, si 5 po, pag in natin kay 31, that will give us 36. And 36 also is divisible by 4. So, pwede na natin siya makancel. So, we have here 36 
mod 31 4 times 26 factorial divide both sides by 4 by 4 so 26 factorial is congruent to 9 mod 31 so this will be our answer or simply ang answer niyo po is si 9 na lang what is the remainder of 67 factorial mod 71? So 71 is our P. So we have here 71 minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 71. So we will have 70 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 71. So for 70, hanggang daw po kay 67. So 70 times 69 times 68 times 67 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 71. So 70 minus 71, that is negative 1. 69 minus 71, that is negative 2. 68 minus 71, that is negative 3. 67 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 71. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. So negative 6 times 67 factorial is congruent to negative 1. It's either po magma minus or magpa plus po tayo. So dito po mas strategic na gamitin ang minus because negative 1 minus 71, that is negative 72, mod 71. So negative 6 and negative 72 are both divisible by negative 6. So, ibig sabihin, divide both sides by negative 6. So, that will give us 67 factorial is congruent to negative 72 divided by negative 6, that is 12, mod 71. So, for example, number 5, the answer is 12. What is the remainder of 67 factorial mod 71? That is 12. So that's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful to your number theory subject, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Bye!